What is up guys, Pie Muffin here. We are back with our Tales of Crystoria video. So, the new banner is live for Colette and Miklio, and we're gonna do some summons, but in case uh, people didn't see my uh, breakdown video, we're just gonna quickly go over what they are and what they do. Uh, we're not gonna go in like super detail, but just kind of explain what kind of units they are. So, uh, Colette is a light unit, and she's pretty on. She's pretty much on the defensive side. She uh, buffs your team, uh, your light team. Well, actually, she, you know she can buff your team just in general. She does have that uh, enhance ability, which uh, out of all the SSRs I own, I actually don't. I don't know how many there are that actually have any enhance abilities, but in terms of my account. I do not have any, so it's kind of nice that she has this uh, attack up 10% for all allies for three turns, which also has an additional effect to increase defense by 10% for three turns. Um, so it's kind of a double power up there. Her Angel Feather is not super powerful, but Holy Judgment with 390% isn't that bad. Uh, and then you just look at her overall stats uh, with her own Memoria Stone maxed out. Uh, she's gonna end up with like almost 50k. Um, her attack's not gonna be super impressive. It's only gonna you know cap out at like 2,500. But you're not really using her as an attacking unit, so it's not really that bad. Plus, her defense is pretty great, so she's gonna stick around for a good while. And then Miklio over here is a pretty uh, I'd say balanced unit uh, overall. Um, the only thing being is that both of his arts, besides his mystic art, aren't, like, super powerful. But, uh, with Aqua Serpent, you're definitely getting that damage over time with that poison, which is pretty nice. Um, and then Splash, you know, it's weaker, but you also have that, uh, two-plus enemy AoE, uh, kind of thing, uh, which is pretty nice. And then his state, you know, he's very HP-heavy. And then between attack and defense, you know, just a little over 3,000. So he's not the craziest, but he's still pretty decent. Um, so that's it for pretty much looking at their... Oh, and of course, you know, the Memoria skill for uh, Colette is Evasion Rate Increase, which is pretty nice for Light Allies. And then for Miklio, he gives 12% HP to Staff Allies Restored every turn. So... If you have any staff allies uh, besides Miklio that you're just trying to use on maybe a different team, you know, like Estelle, for example, uh, the Memoria might be quite useful. So we're going to do some summons here. Um, I think we're going to do, uh, we'll do three multi, well, if we pull them sooner, you know, this might be a much shorter video if I do end up uh, pulling them. Which, uh, actually, before we go in, I want to see something. Okay, yep, the, uh, the Dranzor thing is live, so just quickly reminding everyone to, uh, do that if you do need Ascension Board materials. But enough about that. Let's hop in. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Um, banners are really starting to fill out now, now that we've had quite a number of banners. As you can see, we have a lot of units in here. Uh, which is pretty cool to see. Um, if I don't get uh, Colette or Miklio fr from the unfeatured pool, I would not mind pulling someone like Zelos. Um, I'm just trying to think. Like honestly, anyone like Water or Wind, I can definitely use. But I think top things here would be like Zelos or like the original Saray. Excuse me. Um, I guess it wouldn't be horrible to pull Yuna, but she's not, like, super amazing, so I'm not, like, super looking to kind of get her. Um, Summer Rudy wouldn't be that bad either, honestly. Or even Sophie down here, for that matter. So, yeah, how, how many do we have here? Because it's, it's all, it's, what, four even rows? So, two, four, six, eight, eight times four. So, we have 32 SSRs. 
uh, in the general pool. I think the, when we started the game, we had like 21. But enough about that. Let's hop in. Let's uh, see how it goes. Hopefully, we can uh, at least get an SSR in uh, one of these. Okay, so first multi is looking like it might be a bust. But you never know, one of these may change. But I can't really, even if all, I mean, I, I don't want to say even if all three are dead, I can't really complain because, oh cool, I finally got Kyle. That's my first, uh, I think he's the last SR that I was still missing. Um, so that's really cool there. Not like I really use the SRs. On wow, now we're just going to pull Kyle's uh, back to back. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, even though I did get Leon in one multi, uh, I, I would like my luck to continue at least a little bit. If I don't get the uh, SSRs, I'd like to walk away with at least some. Wow, we would. I don't pull Kyle for the first two months of the game, and now we just pull three in one multi. That's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, if I could walk away with one SSR I don't have just in general from these three multis, I think I'd be pretty happy. So let's see that, uh, let's see that rainbow. There we go. Okay. Now I can't get too excited. Oh, whoa. that's my, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's two SSRs here. This, this might be good. I have never, since my account started, since the game launched, I have never gotten to... Okay, well, that's a dupe. So that's not horrible. Um, but hopefully the other thing is something new. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's my first double SSR multi. Although I've seen people do, like, two, get, like, <laughs> two or three in a multi, so... Uh, I wouldn't mind getting one of those someday. All right. Let's just pray that this other SSR is something I don't have. Come on. Okay. I mean, like I said, it's something I don't have. So uh, we'll take that. I don't. Now I have a full Earth team. So now I need to fully avoid uh, Earth. Uh, so we'll take that. I don't have an SSR Rita. Um, so that's not bad. At least I can't say that this was a total shaft, because that was my first uh, double SSR multi ever. But uh, we <laughs> it's kind of funny that both units I did pull are Earth. So we do have that one dupe for Crest, which is pretty nice. And then Rita, I don't really remember uh, what she's good for. Let's take a look here. Uh, her Mystic Arts, 106%, which is not amazing. Yeah, she's not really, like, super, uh, power-heavy. Um... Yeah, she, she's most of it. she's mostly an effect kind of, a uh, unit. But I think it's, it's still useful to have more SSRs, just in general. Which is funny, because I think Cress is the only Earth SSR that even has any power to him. Um, because Lloyd and Vague that I both have are both kind of on the defensive side. So it seems like Earth is just going to be your defensive element for the most part for now. All right, let's hope that this final multi gives us another SSR here. That would definitely be nice. But uh, after a double SSR, I don't know if I expect... Oh, oh okay. I'm just going to be quiet then. All right, come on. Oh, we're going right to it. Come on. Of course. All right, well, <laughs> I guess uh, we did walk away with something new, just uh, not, uh... man, what is with Earth? Could I have gotten, like, something else? I mean, I guess on the bright side, you know, Lloyd is a unit that I use on a lot of my teams, just in general. So, uh, I guess I can't really complain that much. I would have liked to get uh, one of the new units, but at least it's not like one of my previous, you know, like, summons where I just walk away with, you know, nothing, just SRs. So, we'll take that Lloyd for sure. 
And uh, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do on this because I don't want to go super crazy for these units. I was just kind of like, all right, I have three multis, you know, may as well give it a shot. Um, but let's go ahead and, because I, I don't want to forget, I want to throw those uh, dupes in. So that's my first dupe because I don't like, I like saving one Memoria at all times. So I'm never going to feed in, you know, the final one. So uh, let's go ahead and throw that into Crest right there. And then I'll definitely be working on Rita later. And then Lloyd, I think that's dupe. That is dupe number three. If I did want to sacrifice his Memoria, if I pulled one more copy, I could have him completely maxed out. So, uh, there's that. Cool, cool, cool. So we got that for Lloyd, so that's three dupes in. Uh, I think, uh, who is it? Earhart is the only one I have three dupes in right now. Which, I could do the same thing for her that I could do for him. If I wanted to have four dupes, I could sacrifice that, but I don't really want to. Um, and then now we just have this Rita that I'll be working on uh, for a bit here to actually fit. So, Dark and Earth are the two colors that I have full teams for now, uh, for SSRs. So, now any... Even if there's a color I need on a future banner, if Earth or Dark are on there, I am not going to summon. It doesn't matter who the characters are because I, I want to try and even out my teams as much as possible. So water and wind are still my top priorities here, but uh, it looks like right now the game is just saying no. So let me know how your guys' summons did or went down below if you did do any summons. If you got Colette or Miklio, uh, definitely let me know. And uh, I will. My next video I'll have out. We'll do. We'll do an attempt on the uh, the Duranzort raid while it's still around. I'll probably have that out later today. So uh, that should be fun. That's gonna be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.